and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got five tips for you which are going to help you to plan more effectively, elevate your planning in 2024 for more fulfilling and productive weeks. So let's dive straight in. Planning hack number one, the one, two, three method. So number one, ask yourself, what is the most important thing I've got to get done this week? Two, what is my personal goal and most important professional goal for the week ahead? And Three, what are the three actions or three most important things I need to do every single day? If you take three actions a day over a week, that stacks up to 21 actions a week, which is serious progress. Planning tip number two is to do the ick task first. The ick task is a task that makes you go, oh, I don't wanna do it. Getting this done first thing, get it out of the way, plan it in first thing on a morning means that you're not going to be procrastinating over doing it all day. Also, you get to spend the rest of the day feeling satisfied that you've got the thing that you didn't want to do done this morning. Planning hack number three, set aside an hour or a couple of hours each week to do your life admin and to do it all at the same time. So whether that's doing your bills, sending in your meter readings, whatever you've got to do in terms of life admin that week, set aside some time to just get through it all in one go. It can also be really helpful to also give this time a little bit of phone free time so pop your phone in a drawer don't get distracted because every time you pick your phone up get distracted you're just prolonging the agony of dealing with all that paperwork planning hack number four is to think about the intentions that you want to set so whereas with goals we think about what we want to achieve thinking about our intentions is thinking about how we want to achieve it so you can set an intention for a whole year for a month for the week for the day or for the individual tasks that you're doing thinking through how i actually want to show up for this and what energy do i want to bring to this next few hours or for this next day do you want to show up with gratitude? Do you want to show up with positivity, enthusiasm? And what energy do you need to bring to make this task or this day the most enjoyable it can be? Planning hack number five, plan in some time for fun, which might sound a little bit odd. What I'm talking about here is making time for something that brings you joy, something that you're doing just for the joy of it. It could be your hobby, it could be going out roller skating, it could be going to the cinema and meeting up with friends, but it could also be spending some quiet time cooking. Or for me, it's actually, I plan in time when I can just create without needing to make it to anything to sell. Obviously, as a designer, I'm always like designing things to sell on our website. Sometimes that's quite a lot of pressure and I lose the joy in the creation. So for me, planning in some time when I'm just like, I'm just painting today, I'm just designing. This allows me to reconnect with the joy that I have in my business and often create things which I don't normally. 